What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video. My name is Lucas and I am the founder of Ergogenic Health and my mission is to give you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So today I'm very excited because I'm going to be presenting a research paper that looks at the positive effects of a very well-known nootropic L-theanine, which can be found in green tea and matcha, and how that can influence ADHD symptoms in children. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below as that will really help with building up traffic so that I can get my message out there and help to educate millions of people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly which study really caught my eye. Um, and I think I posted this quite some time back on Reddit um, when I was a bit of a, a geek. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm still a geek, but now I'm less of a uh, nerd in a sense. So anyway, back to theanine. So uh, looking at theanine, so what do we know about it? We know that L-theanine has a very positive effect on increasing alpha waves in the brain. Now, alpha waves are very much associated with the flow state, um, which it sort of enables one to enter into a calm but focused uh, state of mind. Now, what was really fascinating about this study, and it was titled, L-theanine and caffeine improves sustained attention impulsivity and cognition in children with ADHD by decreasing mind wandering. Now, what was really interesting was the fact that um, when each of these compounds or nootropics were administered separately, for example, L-theanine alone, it actually was shown to increase impulsivity and same with caffeine alone, that also increased impulsivity. But the combination of theanine plus caffeine uh, really had a positive effect on or it decreased impulsivity in children with ADHD. So it's a great example of how Mother Nature, for example, we know that matcha and green tea both have moderate amounts of theanine and caffeine that the combination there is better than uh, the each ingredient in isolation. Now, I left a little note to just give you guys a heads up that this is why it takes a lot of skill and you need a high degree of self-awareness when formulating nootropic stacks for yourself. And this is something that I'll be getting into. Um, I will be doing nootropic consultations where I help to formulate nootropic stacks to suit your needs. Um, and just so that you know, uh, with the dosage, dosage range on L-theanine, most nootropic users aim between 100 milligrams to up to 400 milligrams per day. Now I've gone all the way up to, again, this is not medical advice, um, but I've, I've gone up to, 600 to 800 milligrams in the past. And that actually didn't have much of an effect compared to a dosage at around 200 milligrams. So I think the threshold dose in any one sitting personally was uh, 200 milligrams. So yeah, this study really piqued my interest. There's a lot more cool research on L-theanine that's coming out about it modulating the immune system and other parameters. Um, so guys, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Please share my videos around. I've got some really, really useful links in the video description. I have a website that lists some of the most incredible products from around the globe. And if you want to purchase L-theanine, I'll also put a link to a reliable vendor. Um, but otherwise, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.